Today's collectible spot, we're having a look at the Diamond Select Amazing Spider-Man Mini Mates. We're looking at the Toys R Us exclusive Vigilante Spider-Man and Captain Stacy. Having not really seen the movie yet, as it stands at the time that I'm shooting this review, The Amazing Spider-Man has not come out in theaters yet, so I really don't know the reasoning behind the Vigilante Spider-Man. Maybe he's going to take a page from uh, Batman in the fact that he's going to be a bit of a crudely costumed Vigilante before he actually dons the costume. I can tell you though that we finally get ourselves a Dennis Leary Mini Mate. Yes! My whole life I've been thinking to myself, when are we finally going to get a Dennis Leary Mini Mate? I want to finally have the ref. How is that going to happen? Finally we got ourselves Dennis Leary. Packaging would be the same on all the Mini Mates. This really nice bright crimson, not bright crimson, it's a nice dark crimson, thank you. With the Spider-Man at the top corner there. The embossed sticker indicating it, a Toys R Us exclusive on the, on the actual window here. On the back, the other figures that you can get of this Amazing Spider-Man set, we've got Dr. Connors and Gwen Stacy, Vigilante Spider-Man and Captain Stacy, Spider-Man and Peter Parker. Well, actually, it's more so, well, Mass Spider-Man, Peter Parker, and then Battle Damage Spider-Man and Lizard. The read-up says, Vigilante Spider-Man, when Peter Parker discovered the powers the radioactive spider bite had given him, he decided to take to the streets to fight crime. Unfortunately, the police have no love for vigilantes in their city. Who does? Who does? The read-up for Gwen, uh, Captain Stacy, I was going to say Gwen Stacy. Captain Stacy, thank you, says, Peter's actions as a vigilante have made him public enemy number one in the New York City Police Department. Largely due to the efforts of Captain George Stacy, the father of his would-be girlfriend, Gwen. Oh, and also, not recommended for ages zero to three. Very sad, sad child. Very sad onion. What I am going to do is take a bit of a break. I'm going to get this out of package. And when we come back, we're going to get a better look at Vigilante Spider-Man and Gwen, uh, Gwen, and Captain Stacy. I'm sure Spot's going to say Gwen a couple more times in this review. I apologize in advance. But there's definitely more to come. Stay tuned. And we'll first have a look at Vigilante Spider-Man. I'm not really... Having not seen the movie yet, I don't know, maybe this mini mate might warm up to me a little bit more than what it is right now. Uh, it's it's very basic. It's very, very basic. I mean, it, it has really cool design elements. He's got basically black pants, black sleeve shirt. He's got himself what looks to be a jacket that you can remove if you don't want him having this jacket. What kind of jacket is that? It's like kind of like a... I don't know if it's a windbreaker. I don't know really what it is. But you could take it off. And the fact that the black sleeves could be either his jacket or the shirt he's wearing underneath, it makes sense that you can at least take this off. He's also got himself a red face. Well, not a red face. He's wearing a mask with glasses. I assume those are glasses. If they're not, well, they're not. He's also got himself a little hat, a little toque. I'm wondering if you can take it off. Hmm, doesn't look like you can actually take it off, which is surprising. But you can take off his head. And it does, yeah, it does look like the jacket is removable, if you want. I mean, it's a pretty neat jacket. I'm trying to think of any other character that you could probably put this jacket on, if you wanted to make a custom. Just take the jacket off here. You don't really have to take it off, the spots are showing you. Okay, you could just have him unjacketed. Right there. Maybe you can make yourself like a Punisher. Oh, that would be good. There's a good idea. Good thinking, Spot. Thanks, Spot. You put yourself. Uh, you could put a jacket on your Punisher if you had a Punisher figure, or if you even wanted to make one, you could do that as well. Get the head back on there. Yeah, there's really not much to say about the Spider-Man. I guess with some customization, if you could get this toque off, which I'm really surprised this seems to be a fixed piece. Maybe it, it can come off and I'm just having so much problem with it. But I guess you could probably make yourself a, uh, I don't know, a red hood, I guess if you wanted to. You could do that. 
standard articulation, so the Vigilante Spider-Man has a ball-jointed head. He's got ball-jointed shoulders, a bend at the elbow, rotation in the hand, rotation in the waist, legs go forward, back, slightly out, bend at the knee, rotation in the foot. Uh, it's definitely a case where, if you haven't seen the movie, this Mini-Mate probably does nothing for you. Maybe once you've seen the movie, you, you desire to only get one, might be there. Uh, as it stands right now, I, I think he's just all right. I'm going to give Vigilante Spider-Man a... I'm going to give him a 5.5. 5.5. Having a look, though, at Captain Stacy. Ah, see, I was almost going to say Gwen that, that time. Again, for a Mini-Mate... I think they hit one out of the park with a good likeness of Dennis Leary. That looks like Dennis Leary. If Dennis Leary had his nose suddenly, painfully taken off, I think he would look quite a bit like this Mini-Mate. Very, very nice. He's got himself a SWAT jacket on. Which he could take off, you know, in fact, let's see if we can take, get the head off here for a second. Just to show you guys. You can take the SWAT jacket, you take that off, and he is actually wearing a shirt and tie underneath. So if you want to put the head back on, of course, give Dennis some hair, Captain Stacy. You can actually have him just wearing his shirt and tie. I walk around in the summertime saying, how about this heat? Spot, you really shouldn't be singing that song. That song's not appropriate for children. I do like Dennis Leary quite a bit. I'm just going to take take the, helm, the head off for a second. I want to just put this vest back on. It lends itself better to, for the rest of this review if I keep the jacket on. A pretty good likeness, though. He's got some nice detail work on the side there, a little police patch. Of course, police on his vest. He's one of the only few mini mates too that actually has a holster, which I think is really neat as well. Because Captain Stacy not only comes with a small handgun that you can either put in his hand. Come on, get it in his hand, like so. Mini mate hands are always so awkward. So awkward to get stuff into. There we go. Or in this case, you can actually take the handgun and put it into his holster. Like so. I think that's really, really neat. Also, if you'd like, it's entirely up to you, you don't have to. You can also take the hair off of Dennis, Captain Stacy, and you can put a helmet onto Captain Stacy instead. It loses a little something when you put the helmet on. It doesn't quite look as much like, I keep saying Dennis Leary, but it doesn't look as much like Dennis Leary with the helmet on, but maybe once we've seen the movie, it might make a little more sense. I would likely display him with the hair, but there's that option if you want, if you do want. And finally, he does also come with a rifle, a very large rifle, I might add. And we'll just get that into his hand. Again. Uh, again, it's a bit of a struggle to get uh, weapons or really any accessories into Mini Mate hands. You always have to pry the, excuse me, part of my hands for a second. My hands are totally monopolizing this review right now. There we go. There we go. You can have Captain Stacy holding a much larger rifle. Where's his helmet? There's his helmet. There you go. I, I like it. I, I like the fact that you get so many accessories with him. I mean, again, at the end of the day, I would take this rifle off, I would take the helmet off, and I would put the hair on. And I would probably have the Mini Mate displayed such as this, such as what you see right here. Maybe you draw a little bit of a goatee, and again, you've got yourself the ref. I love that movie. One of my favorite not one of my favorite, but definitely a Christmas classic that I love watching. Uh, Captain Stacy, I'm going to give him an 8. Pretty good likeness. 
and it just again goes to show that for a Mini Mate, you get yourself a pretty good amount of detail. Something that even larger figures sometimes don't have. Today's collectible spot, we're having a look at yet another two Mini Mates from the Amazing Spider-Man collection. We're looking at an alright Vigilante Spider-Man, but a pretty good Captain Stacy. You can let me know down below your thoughts. And as always, I will see you guys next time.